I'm Chosen Architect, and welcome to Dawncraft. <sighs> now, jumping right in and starting off today's episode, I want to name our horse. So, I thank you guys for commenting all below what we should name it. But Slipnir, if I, that's the best way I could pronounce it, uh, is apparently Odin's horse. And I was like, that is a really cool thing. I learned something new every single day. So, hopefully we can get our horse over here. Or maybe not. The horse sometimes just doesn't want to teleport. All right, well, I'm going to go to our horse, I guess. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for commenting. I do appreciate it. That is really freaking cool. What a perfect name for our horse. Even if we don't get to ride our horse very often, it is still a pretty cool name. And the recognition for the name definitely goes to Grimith the following 129. Thank you so much, my dude. Now, today is going to be full of adventure and also weapon crafting and honing. Today, I want to make some new gear. I did do a little bit of mining, um, and as you can see, I have 43 diamonds, but I basically gathered, what, 23 or so diamonds utilizing the cart assembly setup uh, underground. And let me show you what my tunnels look like, because they're quite extensive. So, as you can see, I have been putting good use <laughs> to the cart set up uh, allowing me to mine a lot more effectively um and uh oh i also wanted to show off this too well, i did find platinum there was some platinum in the walls here and this is used for weapons as well part of some other mods you can see right here uh yeah the obscuria's essentials which is uh an interesting interesting mod in itself but yes i have uh, been mining and as you can see all the little pockets where uh diamonds were now, the thing that I might note is I don't know if it's just breaking the diamond. I do know that whenever it does break uh, things like redstone, like in the last episode, I showed how to use the cart setup. Uh, it does drop the redstone. However, I don't know if I got a piece or not where it uh, had broken some diamond. Wasn't able to really tell that. But I mean, this requires an iron pick, I believe, to break redstone. So it... It should break diamond as well. Now, there is a thing I did want to show you guys that was actually underground that I did uh, while mining. And that is, there's a geode. Well, there's a geode right on the wall, but there's also a geode over here. So I have two geodes that are right under our base in like the perfect spot to regenerate. And this is really handy because the little uh, villager guy, the little uh, troll that kind of uh, pops into the existence while we're mining. Well, it can offer about 20 emeralds uh per trade 20 emeralds uh in total for all of these shards so keeping some shards on you while mining is definitely a good idea that way you can build up the amount of emeralds you have so now i really want to upgrade my gear at this point with all these diamonds and so i can finally make myself some diamond gear oh my goodness and uh also upgrade our weaponry as well uh, with all of these fancy diamonds that we have. And hopefully we can use this diamonds and this gear to, to, to loot more of the buildings and hopefully get more diamonds and gear that are hopefully enchanted and, and way better than what I have. Now, I think as far as an upgrade goes, I want to make this bad boy. Uh, so I want to make a diamond Zwiehander. I, I I can't pronounce that. Now, believe it or not, this sword is actually going to be a little bit better than what I currently have. Let's see how this swings. So it does swing pretty fast, but let's put this on it. And now this does 14% armor negation, which is more than what this does. Also, this is faster. This is actually faster. And oh my gosh, it looks so cool with us just literally chilling out with the sword. If I like zoom out, we like pull that thing behind us and then our attack animation. Oh, that is sick looking. Also kind of delayed. We should probably, I mean, I don't know if this is going to be the best in the world, but let's see. It does some crit hits, which is really nice. What's its ultimate look like? Oh, okay. So you kind of want to be away whenever you do the, the ultimate swing, I think. But yeah, that's kind of cool. And it, it like spins you around. 
<laughs> I want to go at it from the side. Oh, this is going to be fun. Now, another sword I want to make is the Diamond Tachi. This is actually from the Epic Fight mod, and it seems like it'll be a faster alternative. So it'll be something that I'll, I'll have for those quick engagements. And let's see what its ultimate looks like. So yeah, it does just raw eight. And then when it hits its max... Oh, that is sick looking. Oh, that's going to be cool. Now, I also want to get these bad boys enchanted. And from last episode, we are now able to do that. Oh, that one will get me looting. I want to go through here and see what we can't drop this down to. There's looting one on this. What does this give us? Smite. Oh, for 28, we can get sharpness three. Ooh, that could beef that up a lot. Man, the only downside is getting the, the right amount of levels. You know what? We should go adventure and see if we can't find a place that will hopefully allow us to farm a few levels. For right now, though, I'm going to definitely just put some basic stuff on here. Look, that we got knockback, uh, sweeping edge, and unbreaking. Sharpness one on that, and I enchanted on the base level, the lowest level. And let's go farm some enchants. Like, we're going to definitely farm some higher level stuff here. Now, one more thing before I leave so I don't have to spend experience to get back. I want to actually make myself a couple of warp scrolls. Uh, and these are going to allow me to get back to our destination. So one, I can go ahead and assign one here. And this warp scroll is now linked. Um, and I believe these do get consumed whenever we do use them. But this is going to be linking us back home. So we can say home. And I know that this one is now going to be our home location. And then this one we can use whenever we get to our destination and we want to come back we can assign that so we can get back there and this is a way to get around without using waystones so i'm actually going to be heading in the direction of the skeleton lord uh now i don't know if we're going to get there but i do want to mainly focus on finding places that i could loot xp from um so even if we do find it today i don't think i'm going to be finding it uh because i just don't think i'm prepared enough for it However, it is in the east direction. I haven't been over this way, so we should, we're bound to find new things. Now, this thing looks kind of interesting. And a complete skeleton made of stone. So this is, I don't know if it's been fossilized or what. Either it's fossilized or it was a structure that was built for this. But there are definitely blocks here. Uh, this is a sea lantern. Yes, I will take some of those materials. Oh, and also take some damage in the process. Yeah, sea lanterns will give me prismarine crystals, which might be useful for us later on in any kind of crafting. Up ahead lies a perfectly good village, just as night is starting to fall. And uh, I might as well loot this as best as I can. I mean, talk about an epic village. Wow. I mean, this is such a cool looking valley. It's a village inside this valley. Oh, that is awesome looking. Interestingly enough, a goblin area spawned in here. And well, they're trying to attack me and that's not going to go over so well. Yeah, this guy is going to take them for sure. And we do have some chests with meh loot in them. Now, oddly enough, yeah, there's uh, I haven't seen a waystone in this village. I don't know if they show up in all villages, but eh, it is kind of nice to find another one of these buildings. Just guaranteed a couple diamonds. Oh my goodness, I just found moolips. <laughs> They're adorable looking. Oh, this is fantastic. I feel like areas like this is definitely where you want to be able to call your horse. Oh, it is so cool to be able to call your horse. Very, very nice. I mean, this place looks beautiful. Oh, this right here must be one of those towers. Hmm, I think this is another tower though. Whoa. Now that's a tower. What is that? I'm getting close to it. It says a test of time. Um, and I don't know anything about this. All right, moment of truth. The only thing we can do is hopefully get down inside of here and see what uh see what's in store for us all right here goes nothing i'm gonna break it open and see what is in store um that is a very creepy looking eye 
is there. There's a bunch of levers. And like I said, I have no idea what this is. Oh, oh, it's a mob. Get, get out of here. Is this a mob spawner? This is a land obelisk. That's kind of cool. Oh, there's redstone. Hey, back off. So that's what this is. This is basically a mob spawner. This could be a cool way to get experience. A good way. Yeah, there's there's spawners underneath these. That's what's doing the spawning. Is there spawners under here? Hmm. Now, I wonder if these spawners are affected by light in any way. If I can get a light source in here. Probably not affected. Also, what could possibly be in here? A, a whole block of iron. A land chest. Land chest is sealed upon destruction of nearby enemies. Interesting. Ooh, it, I like this sword. It is very nice. Very nice. Okay, so I'm wondering if, like, we have this spawner. Let me try this. Let me try this sword. Oh, this one's way faster. Way better for things like this. Oh, yeah. We can definitely get more hits in and way quicker. All right. What does this do? Can we right-click on it? Punch? Okay. I guess not. Oh, yeah, that's so good. And then with this guy. Oh, get wrecked. Oh, it didn't actually kill him. Oh, shoot. Oh, our regeneration is really helping here. Wow, these guys are a lot tougher for whatever reason. Whatever reason, but this is so cool. Oh, wow. Okay. So maybe we do have to just go through this level and just like battle it out. Huh. Maybe it's because I was attacking too soon with this. Boom. Oh, this is so good. I love this. Yeah. Getting diamond armor was definitely a huge upgrade. The range on this is the only thing that's bad about it. Got him. Wow. Oh, and is this a... What is this? Oxidized copper. Interesting. So, looking at this, um, it does seem like each level has different uh, mobs. This one has what looks to be uh, spiders. And then I'm assuming each level gets progressively more difficult. That's what it seems like to me. But to get to each level, you have to go up the stairs to take on each enemy. As you can see, the spiders, very gross, but very cool as well that we can just do this. Um, I don't want to break the spawners. But yeah, as you can see, I wonder what's up at the top of the tower, though. Oh, wow, there's a bunch of food and stuff on this level. It was a baby zombie. Regular zombie. Maybe I should be scared of what's up here. Some fast shooting skeletons. Oh, boy. Yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of skeletons up there. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. There's like a library area. There's a spawner hidden there. Spiders are so rough. This is so much better though. The diamond gear is dramatically different. Got him. 
Baby zombie, get out of here. Get out of here. Got him. Let's continue up. Okay, there's like blocks of emerald there. Oh, there's so much going on. Close quarters is so hard with this. Okay, I'm getting somewhere. We'll keep going. Because, I mean, if it does open up at the top, if anything, what I can do... Oh, wow. So, yeah, I did make it up here. And... What does this do? Do I break it? I don't think so. Um... Huh. Is there something here? There is a chest. The chest is locked. Maybe I did something wrong. I don't know, but I am up here. Unless you have to break like every spawner. <laughs> oh goodness. You guys are all getting wrecked. Get wrecked. So it does seem like, like the way this is supposed to work. Uh, after looking it up, it does seem like we're supposed to go through and actually break the mob spawners, but in my case, I don't want to break the mob spawners uh, because we could use those potentially to our advantage some other time. But yes, uh, we can unlock this area um, so long as we break the red mob spawners that are underneath, like I've seen here. Very cool. And then there might be better treasure up top. I don't know, but... This doesn't seem too bad now that we have full diamond gear. It actually seems like things have eased up on us a little bit. At least fighting standard mobs. Oh boy, I must be getting close because Lord of Sorcery, the Skeleton Overlord, is, well, where we're heading. And uh, it looks like we might be getting close enough because the boss part is here. Wow, what a distance because we haven't even made it there yet. But we're getting pretty close. Well, at least I think we are. And that right there, I think, is where it's at. Or something's at, because it is causing a lot of mobs to spawn down here, as you can see. It must be that, right? It's gotta be. Yeah, it's definitely up there. That is way up in the air. Now, this looks interesting. Oh, and there's a village over there. Hopefully it has a waystone. I wonder, this is the lighthouse. What am I getting myself into by going up here? I have no idea. But, hopefully it's good. Okay, so we have a bed. There's a nice little lookout. Nice and pretty. But, does somebody live here? Doesn't seem like it. Hopefully this isn't some, uh some lighthouse that when we go up here it, it transfers us into an underwater dimension that would be kind of bad there's a chest right there oh these are bone blocks Ooh, i kind of want to take all these bone blocks for myself these are redstone lamps there's a little bit up here i hear mobs there's a lot of redstone going on right now but that's it. This is like a thing full of redstone. Oh, look how cool that is. It rotates. That's a cool, that's so neat looking. Okay. There's tons of repeaters and stuff. All right, let's check and see what's in the chest. Okay, gold. Ooh, we got a music disc. But I'm honestly more interested in the bone blocks that's the the entire liner here uh sorry i'm i'm taking these i am so sorry i ha i just had to grab as much of this as i possibly could uh, bone blocks i mean for however many we got here almost two stacks that's nine bone mill per block so that really adds up oh thank goodness look what this village has so now i can set up a point back at that boss so let's go ahead and get that set up and, and try to get where that boss is located. So I am back, so let's try this out. I mean, I don't know what to expect. Like we have the thing there, but this balloon is pretty close to it. So I figure I could probably just bridge up at least and try to hop on this. 
and take this up. This is the sky high. Interesting. I don't know if there's going to be any mobs on here, uh, but if there are, we should be able to take them out. Maybe there's even some cool loot on this blimp. But the ultimate goal is to get all the way up to that giant sky island that uh, is directly above this. Oh boy, what am I getting into? That boss bar looks awfully mean. Hello, knock knock. Uh, nobody's home apparently. No, am I about to say, am I trapped in here? <laughs> apparently not. There's some redstone there. All right, let's see. Are there mobs to deal with in here? Doesn't really seem like much. There's a redstone lamp. An empty room. Hello. Oh, there's a mob spawner. I'm probably going to get rid of that just to avoid any catastrophes that could take place. Some, some nice stuff. I'll actually take that stone as well. There's redstone that runs along this line here. And I have a bad feeling about redstone when I see it. Okay, I got rid of that guy. Oh, I can't see. Let's see if we can't break this spawner. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. It gives you blindness when it drops. That is something else. So there's a piston and a lever. Interesting. I'm going to take all of these redstone components. Tons of pistons and nether quartz. Uh, okay. I'm down. This is like a red... Is this just filled with redstone mechanics? I'm honestly just hoping that it's not like... Oh, there's a tripwire. Does that... Does that set it off if you just break the tripwire? I don't think it does. That was close, though. Oh, I guess it would have shot us. Okay, there's that guy. And there's a guy coming after us. Woo, that is kind of resistant to what we had. I want to get over here, though. Oh, there's a phantom in here. Oh, whoa. That phantom is not having it. It's like a mini boss. Let's see if I can kill it, though. And... Oh, my gosh. That phantom, though. Woo! It is currently lagging a little bit right now. That is not good. Oh, I think we killed it, though. Okay, I definitely got to kill these guys. They're avoiding all of my stuff. Oh, shoot. And then we get hit with the blindness. Let's see if I can run back here, maybe, and break this quickly. Ooh, I can't see anything, but... Oh, man. There's a lot going on in here. Thankfully, I feel relatively confident in my abilities at this point. Which is really nice. These are like wither skeletons. Or something. Come on, I gotta get this broken. Whew. Oh, nice. All right. I see all kinds of redstone mechanics leading into like this room area. And I have a feeling that's not a good thing. Okay, back. Oh, man. Yeah, the cool part is, is all of these are filled with redstone components. Oh, that could be super useful. Very, very useful. I don't have to make all of this stuff. Very, very nice. Now, let's see what this is all about. Now, I like to break the bottom of chests because I just never know if they're going to be trapped or not. So that is always something that I've, I've just done. But this right here, what is that leading into? Because that's what I'm concerned about. Okay, so that was part of the initial trap that was set up over here. That's what was going on. Okay, so I don't have to worry about any of these chests or anything like that. Because that's what this trap was set up to do, was to shoot arrows at me. How dare they? Ooh, sneaky. There's a little chest back here. And it has an enchanted golden apple in it. And diamonds, gunpowder, another music disc. Oh my goodness. An enchanted golden apple. Um, 
Well, that was a nice find. Now for the fun part, and that is getting to the top here and seeing if we can't make our way up there safely? Somewhat safely, that is. I don't know, honestly, what to expect up there. And if we fall, like, I should be fine, because I do have the ability to levitate, which helps with fall damage. But... I just don't know what to expect from all of this once we get close. <laughs> oh no. I'm so nervous because this is all unfamiliar. Okay, so we have this guy. Okay, that was easy to kill. Okay, so I don't have to worry about that too much. Thankfully. Now how much damage we take, that's going to be a big thing. Alright, so this is where I definitely want to put down a waystone. And this is the Skeleton Lord. Whew. Okay. And so we now have a way to get back in case we do die. There's skeleton heads all over the place. And I honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I should probably open this up and make sure everything is put away that we don't need. And I could go for it. We're going to take some durability hits for sure. That guy looks horrifying, by the way. Looks absolutely horrifying. Is that the Skeleton King, though? That's what I'm wondering. Or is that something else? I bet there's ranged. This is definitely something else, I think. I think that's just a, a horrifying mob. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you? This must be the Skeleton King. The Skeleton Overlord himself. Oh, there's silverfish in the arena. I don't like that that follows me. Okay. That cannot be good. What are you doing? No! Okay, we're doing good damage, I would say. I definitely need to be in this... Oh! I'm getting hit with all these effects. No! This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. We gotta get out of the arena for a moment. And, and sort of prep ourselves a little bit more. Let's clear out these guys. Because they're gonna bother me. Yeah, they're, they're shooting those... Okay, he's just walking. <laughs> I mean, we can hit them, I guess. Right? They run away. Got them. I'm going to try and... Well, actually, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Let's eat real quick. And I want to try and uh, just go into the arena and just see how much damage we take just attacking directly and then using our ability. Okay, 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 okay. So we do do a lot of damage. Oh no, that does way more damage. Okay, whatever just happened to us took a lot of hits. We just took a lot of damage there. And like, we have regeneration and everything, so like, I'm not too, too concerned. Is it these things that hit us? Because we were able to put in the work, man. Ah. Uh, this stuff I don't like. And like, this has a range. But we, so long as we like walk, we can avoid this. I wonder how long that lasts. Apparently not too long. Arrows seem to be a good thing for this. Come on, get wrecked. The skeleton's not so keen on arrows. Oh, no. Don't hurt me, dude. My friend. No. Oh. Oh, that was so cool looking, though. That was pretty cool. I will admit. Okay, let's let's eat. And uh, maybe we can try. Ouch. I don't know what it was that like insta hurt us, though. That knock is rough. 
Let's see if we can't. Ouch. Don't. <laughs> okay. Maybe ranged is better? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shoot. That, that does some damage, actually. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, let's get our regeneration back in order. I was not planning on fighting this boy. It's kind of cool, though, that, like... <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of cool that it can, like, draw you in. There's a lot of cool effects that are going on. Arrows seem to be doing a pretty darn good job, though. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, ouch. <laughs> when it takes me down to half health, that's pretty scary. That is pretty darn scary. But yeah, it seems like ranged is, is going to be my best friend here. And these, these things even have an issue, it seems like, with the range. So yeah, it just tried to pull me in. It could not. Ha ha. Oh, oh, it's got way faster. Get wrecked, dude. He ain't got much time. He ain't got much time left. Oh. No, stop. Come on. I gotta eat. I gotta eat. No, it's killing me. Oh, oh, that had me on the, my, on the edge, man. Oh, he's trying to pull me. It's not working. Don't. Okay, okay, okay. Last one. And I believe we have a knife. Oh. Oh. That took us down to half a heart. But we destroyed him, dude. <laughs> I was not expecting to kill him. But then again, we are in like better gear now. Oh, these guys are so goofy. You can't see some things health bars, which are kind of odd. So what are, so are these guys, are they also casting? They're the little minions. Get out of here. Get out of here with that. I'm having too much fun. What is all this? Is this crying obsidian? Oh my gosh, it is crying obsidian. Well, I guess with that, I'm able to just pick this up and we can head right back home just by using our scroll. Or so I hope. Wow. That is super, super handy. It also doesn't cost any experience to do that. And this is a great way for us to be able to maintain and keep our waste stones and get them back as we head home. And so now another eye to tuck away into our chest of eyes. And we now have four. And it is time to go speak with our guildmaster. Mr. Guildmaster, sir, I would like to have a word with you. Hello, Mr. Guildmaster. Hello? Am I going to break your other window? It seems like you are just a windowless fool. Hello? Alright. The Skeleton Lord is probably the most powerful undead I've ever seen. I'm surprised you're able to take him down. Alright. Let's see. The next eye is guarded by a renowned holy knight. I am not sure if it's possible or even you. Anyhow, I will give you its location and proceed with caution. Ooh, that sounds like a challenge. And well, I think I actually know where this thing is. This is the Sentinel Knight. And while we were exploring, we had managed to actually find a Sentinel Knight. And I wonder if this is going to take me right to that location. But anyways, my goodness, guys, what a day today has been. It has been a lot a fun and i mean a lot and i hope you guys have enjoyed thus far of course guys if you haven't clicked that subscribe button already be sure to do so and also give this video a huge thumbs up and of course guys it is now time for me to thank the supporter of today's video and of course that huge thanks is going to go to als gamer over on YouTube, becoming a YouTube member and supporting me. I do appreciate you very, very much. And of course, guys, if that's something you're interested in uh, is supporting, you can, of course, become a YouTube member yourself or join the Discord and become a Discord premium member. All of the things are handled over on the Discord, including our supporter servers. Like currently, we have a Dawncraft server up and running as well. All of those things are handled over no matter what area you decide to support from, uh, whether that's Patreon, Twitch, Discord, or even YouTube here. 
Of course, guys, I like to thank you guys all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. And as always, yet again, th th thanks for watching. This is going to get me. Ah! Don't worry, guys. I got him. Oh, I, I missed. Now I got him. Ha <laughs> ha!